Sandra here from Creating Spain. Um, I apologise if I cough and splutter at all. I'm still getting over a cold and still a bit uh, hoarse. But hopefully I'll get through this video without coming a cropper. Alright, Shortcuts Lot 4 is now on version 4.014. Uh, the updates are coming thick and fast, so well done to Craft Edge on that. They are working extremely hard, by the looks of it, at curing various problems and introducing new features. So what I want to do is to show you one of the new features that's recently introduced. I think it was in version 13. And this one is under the effects menu. But I'm just going to put in some shapes on my mat just to show you and whoops didn't get it okay here we are we have a shape and i'm going to draw another shape Hang on, let's make it obvious Oops. make it obvious get a circle i'm going to give that a different color so we can see what's going on and i'll do any color will do it doesn't matter Right, now I have my shapes and if I put this shape, whoops, <laughs> just drawn another one by mistake. Ah, uh, never mind, put it over there. If I put this one on here, if I were to go to path, sorry, click on both of them, it helps. If I would go on to path and exclude, I would put a hole in. But then what you find is that the shape that you originally had, you have lost unless you separate it and break it apart and so on and so forth. So I'm going to undo this and go back to what we started with. So I have my two shapes and I select both and I go to the effects and I choose knockout. Now this is a great function and when you think about things that you're trying to make, this can actually be very useful, <clears throat> but it's not immediately obvious that it's going to be really useful. You might look at it and think, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. But believe me, it does have uses. Okay, so you'll see this little text box comes up and it also says gap. And if I make this gap fairly large so you can actually see it, and move the box out the way and then click the preview you can see what this is going to do it actually knocks out it's a bit like having a cookie cutter it knocks out the shape out of whatever you put it on top of now the other good thing about this is that you can have multiple layers of shapes underneath and it will knock out of all of them okay and that is a really useful thing to do. If you're putting windows in cards for whatever reason, if you're putting, for example, you have a card, you put a window in the front, and you decide, oh, I want a fancy paper on the front of the card, so you want that to have the window cutting it, and then you think, oh, actually, I need to have an insert inside the card, so you want that to have the window in it. And you can choose now, in version 14, so that, that gap can be an inset or an offset. It will do whichever you want it to do. Um, so yes, it definitely has its uses. It is also quite handy if I take this away for some other effects. If we do some text, uh, what text am I going to use? Just go for one of my favourites here. Um, okay, I'm going to go for Pacifico. And I'm going to just type some junk. Whoops, <laughs> quite a lot of junk by the looks of that. Okay. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Okay. And then I'm going to choose, I don't know, maybe a heart shape, doesn't really matter what it is for this particular purpose and then I put it over my text select everything again, go to the effects, go to the knockout and I'm going to leave it without a gap at the moment so you can see what that's like with that gap and the preview oops, it's thinking about it 
please do not crash on me. There we go. <clears throat> okay, if I decide to put a minus gap in it, we can get another preview. It does take its time to do the previews, but yeah, it's not that drastic. There we go. And if I go to the plus bit and do a preview, you can see what it's doing for this. La, 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 la. There we go. Okay. So that's what it does. As a, a useful tool, particularly if you're doing cards with windows. So that's great. Um, the other thing that they have done, if I just draw a circle here under the effects, on the shadow layer, you now have a layer count. So you can actually choose to have more than one layer, which just means that instead of you know, if you want more than one layer, instead of going back in and doing it again and then going back in and doing it again, you can actually just up your layer count to whatever it is that you want. And that makes it a lot more usable. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you found this interesting and useful. And I hope that you give shortcuts a lot a try. It may not be completely what you want yet, but it's definitely getting there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.